BanjoBenCart.com. I am Banjo Ben, your host here on the website to teach you how to play banjo guitar. But this week is Mandolin Week, and we're doing one of my favorite lesson styles to do, and apparently y'all's too, because I get requests for it all the time. That's a build a break lesson. Build a breaks are fun because we're going to start with a stripped down melody of whatever song we're working on, then we progressively make it a, a bit more robust. And so you get to learn several solos to this song, but you also get to see how I think about um, improvising, how I think about building solos. So. It's really a win-win. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to BanjoBenClark.com. You can join as a GoPick member, have access to this lesson, hundreds more. Uh, this is a 30-minute video lesson, just about 30 minutes. It's got the tabs just like I played it, all three solos. And then I have three different speeds of uh, jam tracks that you can download if you're a GoPick member. So check that out. Let's jump right into this one. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Let's do a build a break style lesson for maybe the most famous melody of all time, Amazing Grace. Build a break just means we're gonna take the very basic melody that anybody can learn, okay? And we're gonna to start to build out from that, make it more and more complex as we go. And the purpose of that is for you to see how I go about uh, making a melody more complex, more robust as we begin to create solos or as we improvise. Uh, so these are really fun lessons because they progressively get harder and harder. Now we're gonna do Amazing Grace uh, in the key of G, which is handy because that's a good key to sing it in. Let's go ahead and throw up this first line tab. A couple things I want to point out. We, uh, this is a waltz. That means it has three beats in each measure. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So we've got that feel going on. We're also going to swing it, you know, bum, ba, da, 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 one, and two, and three, and. You also notice we have our words down beneath the, the notes to keep you orientated. We've got our chords above the notes. Got those pick stroke arrows, but you know we're going slow enough. You could do the whole thing with downstrokes if you wanted, but I'm going to do an upstroke here or there. Uh, we're going to come in on the last B. That's a little pickup note for that first syllable. Uh, amazing. Uh, so if we were counting this off, we would come in on the third beat. So we'd go like one, two, uh, amazing. One, two, three, one, two. And then when we land on that maze there, labeled measure three, that's going to last for two beats. That's a half note. So one, two, and then for the third beat of that measure, you're going to go up to the second fret, three, and, and come back. And I'm going to do that down, up stroke. So the first couple measures sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Pretty simple, just like you would sing it, huh? All right, so I advise you to use those fingers that I'm using. Now when you get there to measure four, we're going right back to that second fret for two beats for a grace. One, two, on the third beat, release that, play the open string, three, come back down to that fifth fret in the last measure for sweet for two beats. One, two, and then third beat down to that second fret. Okay, I'm gonna play through these four measures here. Later on, we'll do it much slower together, okay? This is what it sounds like. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we're keeping it very, very stripped down, right? 
just a basic melody. Let's go ahead and throw up the next line tab so that we can begin to build from here. We're going to use these exact same notes in the next uh, solo so you can see how I do that exactly. Uh, the measure six there, we're going to land on the open D string for two beats. One, two, three, and then guess what? For the next three, or next two measures, are exact repeats of measures three and four, so we've already seen it. Saves a wretch like, but this time we're going to go up to the fifth fret on the A string. We're going to change to a D chord, and that's going to last this whole measure. One, two, three, let's play this line. One, ready, go. Sound two, that saves two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that's gonna last through that measure. And actually, let's look at the next line. It's gonna last through the first two beats of measure 10. One, two, we're just holding it over. And then on the third beat of measure 10, we're gonna start the next phrase. I, I, and then come in measure 11 for a half note. One, two, then come down. Three and one, two, three. The last measure, we'll go to the second fret for two beats. One, one, two, three. So let's start there on I, measure 10, and play this line. One, two, I, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Measure 14, we'll land there on found for two beats. One, two, three, and then we've seen all this before. When we get to blind, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And so we've played through the basic melody. We've got a good grip on it. If you don't, you can take time to do that. If you're watching on the website, let's, um, in the next video segment, let's play through this whole basic melody very, very slowly. Then don't forget to download those MP3 rhythm tracks that you can play along uh, as well.